right, there's been a lot of fuss about Aero socks. Are they a gimmick? Are they not a gimmick? Uh, I do actually have some, but before we sort of go into what they actually are, um, we'll just talk about the aerodynamics and apparently how much faster they are. So did I get sucked into this marketing hype or is it actually true aerodynamics? So you can see this nice little diagram here, basically shows you pretty obvious stuff here. When the air goes round, you get some stuff that doesn't stay attached, goes around here, low pressure, that is gonna pull you back there. Um, so that's basically what's happening with this little diagram here, uh, pretty obvious. So what it's basically saying with the aero sock is what you get is you get this nice little bit of um, boundary layer here, which basically stops all the lower pressure going here. So the smaller lower pressure, less things pulling you back. Pretty, um, I mean, obvious stuff. It's basically saying that, you know, they're going to the UCI limit. But anyway, here's the test results done by Dan Bigham of Watchshop, who does all the cycling weekly tests. So if you believe any of the cycling weekly tests, then I guess these are done to a similar standard, I would uh, imagine. Uh, so anyway, 40 kilometers an hour, you can see if you have a trip line sock, um, compared to just a standard six inch sock, cotton sock, you're gonna be saving about like one and a bit watts. If you have no socks, you're gonna be saving three watts. I remember British Cycling at one point did have no socks, but I think that was just for lols to like make other people do it, I don't really know. And then if you have a Rule 28 sock, you do say five watts at um, 40 kilometers an hour, apparently. And then if we extrapolate up to 60 Ks now, you can see you're gonna say 16 watts. Now, does that seem reasonable? Maybe, I mean, 16 watts at 60 Ks now, it does seem, does seem quite a lot of watts. I mean, if when you add up all the watts together, sometimes you, you do question it, because apparently an aero bike is also worth like 30 watts and all this stuff. But anyway, um, you can then see this. So this is basically saying that they, they were conducted by Dan Bigham. To be honest, I do actually trust uh, quite well. And it's basically saying what happened. So they did a 10 minute test at 45 Ks an hour, two minute test at 55 Ks an hour. Um, and then here's basically saying 40 Ks an hour, you need 156 watts, pretty low CDA here. Um, no socks, 152.7, rule 28 socks, 151.4. And then you can see if it do 60 Ks an hour, it took them 530 watts. And with a rule 28 sock, it took them 511. So that does seem pretty conclusive. Apparently also these people here called Adaptive human performance test the same things. So anyway, I got short, um, drawn in and uh, they were like, and I was like, well, you know what? Might as well buy some socks, get some aero gains. Pretty, like, they're not actually that expensive. Like, if you think they're going to save you 16 watts at 60 Ks an hour, okay, which I, I'm not going to be spending too much time at 60 Ks an hour, but 40 Ks an hour in a time trial or in a road race, you spend pretty much all the time over 40 Ks an hour in a road race. Um, it's like 25 quid. So I was like, yeah, well, you know, we'll, we'll chuck it in. I had some coin. Uh, but anyway, I'll just, I'll just whip out the old camera and I'll show you what these socks look like. Look like. All right, so what do these socks actually look like? Now, it's really hard to, like, I have no idea what they were, but so this part here, the bottom of the sock, so basically they sit like this on your feet, imagine, sorry, not in the shot. They sit like this, effectively. Um, so you basically have, the bottom bit is a normal sock, so just cotton sock, I'm guessing. Um, and anyway, and then this part here is really, like, it's hard to show on camera what it is, but it's like... um. It's sort of like a, a lycra sort of material, I would guess, is the best way of describing it. But it's really thin. You can see here, it's like super, super thin. Um, doesn't really weigh what much. And it really like grasps your leg. Um, they're pretty comfortable socks, to be fair. Do rate them. Um, they sit pretty high up on my legs. I'll try to insert a picture of me. Um, well, I will insert a picture of me, sorry, wearing them. But they sort of go up, I'd say, to like midway through my legs, more or less. Um, so they're pretty high socks, so if you don't like high socks, definitely wouldn't buy them. Uh, but they do, they are like quite comfortable. They do maybe restrict blood flow a tiny amount, but not really, uh, they're not that noticeable. But also make sure you definitely size down, I would say, um, if you are gonna get them, because you want them to be super, super tight to your legs, because if they're not, then they're gonna wrinkle and it's not gonna be good. So they basically sit like that on the socks. But anyway, it's quite a clever design. Are they worth 25 quid? I mean, no one really knows. Um, was I a bit of an idiot buying them? Maybe. Would I recommend them as something to buy? I'd say like, sorry, this thing is so annoying. Um, I would say that the main thing is, is you've got to think like aerodynamics. Like, I mean, there's easy, expensive ways to buy it. Nice wheels, etc., etc. Best thing, get super aero position. Next best thing, shoe covers, aero socks, in my opinion. They're easiest things. 25 quid for socks, you might be like, oh, that's expensive. But I only wear them on race days. They'll probably last me like three or four years. Um, and also like, people spend 20 quid on stupid raffa socks that aren't going to make you faster so these apparently make you faster do they i'd say they probably will make you slightly faster if anything they give you psychological benefit then pair them with like the um shoe covers that apparently the best ones are the velotos shorts shoe covers that's what i heard um and if you have laces shoe covers apparently aren't necessary necessary um and then yeah 
but and then get an error of wheels probably after that. But yeah, aero socks, would I buy them? Yes, basically is my answer. Have they made me faster? No, but I'd say according to the data, they're probably one of the best things to buy if you do want to get faster. All right, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.